Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for finally ensuring this matter gets on the order paper. Uh, if we had discussed this matter, then we would have been able to not do post-mortem. We would have solved some problems. I need to register my disappointment with the business committee. They should have prioritized this matter, which they did not do. So, honorable colleague from Masindi, if you are looking for who to blame, the business committee has some answer to do. Secondly, I should we, register we, my... We take the, the blame as readers, and uh, we are sorry about it. And I hope it won't happen again. I should uh, register my disappointment with the parliament. This loan got approved by parliament. Rule 155 outlines what parliament must look for when they are passing a loan. It seems a number of those issues are we are ignored, and then that this parliament was turned into a rubber stamp and just passed things the way they are. And now that's why we are getting to experience all this. Because if we looked at the procurement plans, if we look at the environmental impact assessment, we wouldn't be here. Why I have been insisting on this matter is in my area, Maraj, a stalled bridge led to death of five people by droning. I have a report. I actually wrote to the speaker, she's the one who, who calmed us down. We were, going, we were planning to storm World Bank because they are financing projects without social and environmental safety. You, you go there, we have been complaining everywhere, there's no response. What comes out from this report clearly is financial crimes have been committed. We have people who have misappropriated and diverted government resources. They may be in finance, they may be in agriculture. I want to buy into Professor Musemesa's motion that we, the agencies of government must investigate. Our people cannot die in vain. Never. They, they cannot die in vain. There are people who embezzled these resources. They must account. This matter needs to be investigated. This parliament cannot sit here and handle this business as usual. Mr. Speaker, you survived because you have stood with the people of Uganda. Imagine, imagine a matter of this magnitude was covered. By letting this matter be discussed, you are with the people. You are actually making parliament a pro-people parliament. So, as a, a suggestion to the Ministry of Agriculture, there are many of you who want to use agriculture as a tool for social economic transformation. I should remind you that uh, there is no way you will succeed in using agriculture for transformation if you do not look at agriculture as a, a value chain, which starts with the production until the final consumer. All these concerns which we are raised here start from production, they go through stages. So you must ensure the bottlenecks are fixed. Mr. Speaker, I also buy into your proposal that uh, the minister must come clear on those stalled roads. There are roads in Maracha which were earmarked. There was funding for it. We borrowed money. We need to know today what is going to happen to those roads. Where is that money? Because it is loan money. W was it already diverted somewhere? Where, where is that loan money? This is what we must get clear from you, and we need to understand the way forward so that we, we, we know. Okay, let me take that information because I know you come from Yumbe, you have very critical information. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Honorable. I think the issue you are raising equally also affects Yumbe. In Yumbe, three roads were selected. And these roads were selected at a cost of two billion each. And later on, when it reached the implementation, one road was one road was uh, abandoned. At the end of the day, only two roads were selected at 500 million. So the question you are raising, what happened to the money? I think we need to investigate this. Because when uh, these World Bank projects are selected, there is a visibility study which is carried assessment is done, and that's how this money is allocated. But at the end of the day, if all the money did not reach, where did the other monies go? 
we need this to be investigated so, by uh, to, to sum it up i want to tell honorable members that right now uganda is paying over 400 billion annually in commitment fees in loans we are not using we are not absorbing more than 15 uh i think trillion trillion in, in loans why are these things happening so this is not business as usual something must be done there must be investigation there must be forensic audit so that we get to the root of this problem people cannot eat this money for free this this we must unanimously agree if we are there to solve people's problem i thank you